I want to show you the best slider available for WordPress. It's called Slider Revolution, and I've been using this since 2018, and I still think it's the best available. No BS. So basically, if you want to make your website pop and your clients go wow, this is what you have to use. Like I said, it's Slider Revolution, and I'm going to show you it right now. Like I mentioned before, this is going to make your viewers say wow when they jump into your site, and basically it's going to make them stay there. So I do recommend jumping into the link that I provide in the description and jump into the templates section of Slider Revolution. Scroll down here and they have a bunch of templates and I can say for sure that like 95% of these templates are amazing. So I have some of these open here. So let me go ahead and refresh this really quickly. And it does so many things that it makes your site pop. Check this out. I'm moving my mouse here. See how it moves. See how they slide. Let me scroll down here. Check that out. This is done with Slider Revolution. So basically, aside from being a slider, you can actually build the whole page with this also. So here's another one. This is like type of classic slider. But just look at this, how they move. I'm going to jump into the next one. Look at that. Tell me clients are not going to say wow or fans or whoever's going to jump into your site. Say this is amazing. This is another type template here. Check this out. You can grab these templates and you can customize it for yourself. So if you have something similar already, you can just go ahead and use something like this. Check it out. So I do recommend jump into the template section, check it out for yourself and see, basically you're going to see for yourself that it's the best. So I've installed this one of my site that I'm using Slider Revolution and you're going to be able to view how nice it flows. This is a coffee shop that I'm starting and no, I haven't modified this yet, but I've already added the Slider Revolution plugin here and I'm using it already. Okay. Now let me jump into the back end of my site. And before we get started with this, I want to tell you that yes, this works alongside with other builders website builders. So if you're using Divi, Elementor, etc., anything like that, it, it works alongside with it. So you won't have any issues. And if you want to build the whole site with Slider Revolution, yes, it is possible. Okay. So let me get started. I already have a plugin installed. You can see here Slider Revolution, and I can start from a blank module, a template, manual import or add-ons. So let me jump into templates to get started. Here we're able to view all the templates that are available and I can select any of the ones here. So in this case, I want to go ahead and preview this before I actually use it. So I want to make sure that this fits with my business niche or if it's something that I like to customize it. See how it flows. Look at all that. That looks super nice, right? OK, so I like this and if I like it, I'll just go ahead and click the plus button and it's going to tell me that I need to install some add ons. Now, Slider Revolution has a bunch of add ons that it won't install unless you actually need them. So in this case, I want to install this package to start working with this one. OK, now in this case, it's installing it. Let's wait for it to finish. There we go. It just finished. It just installed everything necessary for that demo that we just previewed. And we can go ahead and modify any of the elements here to customize it and obviously fit our website needs. OK, now in this case, like I said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the brewery brewery uh, website slider. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this. And one of the things that Slider Revolution makes different from other website builders is that it works like a video editor. So there's a timeline and that that's what makes it flexible and amazing at the same time. OK, so when you get started, you can go ahead and go through these tutorials to obviously learn how to edit this. But if not, you can just go ahead and click the X and start editing. So let me show you. This is the Slider Revolution. On the bottom, we're able to view the slider. So this is the timeline. In a timeline, you'll view some seconds. In the seconds, each one of these elements is one of the elements on the, the website. So in this case, this is the brewery one. So if I select the beer, you can see it highlighted beer. And here it is. So something is going on for 1200 milliseconds. OK, so I'm going to click on the slider here. I'm going to click play and click the space bar to click play. And you can see it flowed in. So basically, it took 1200 milliseconds to bring in the beer. So that's one of the elements that moved in this slider. OK, so what happens if I want to edit this? So I'm going to click on it. OK, and on the right, we have all the tools for this editor. And first of all, we have highlighted the animation. So basically, if the animation that you just saw right now, you don't like it, if you want to change it, well, you can change the ins and outs. So for example, block transition FX. I'm going to hover over this. Okay, And that doesn't look good at all for this. How about pop ups? Check this out. See how it moves. So basically, we're seeing how the pop up moves. Simple transition, random, skew transitions. Oh, that moved from somewhere else. 
but there's several of these available. So in this case, I'm not going to play with it. I like the transition it has. So again, I'm going to click play on it. Looks fine. Okay. But what if I want to make it longer? I think the animation was too fast and people are not going to actually capture it. Okay. So let me click on the beer again. And here it is the frame alias. So just to identify it, we have the duration. So we're going to change this to 2000 milliseconds, which in return would be two seconds. Okay. So you can see it's stretched. 2000 and here we go on the, on the timeline it says two seconds we're going to click on this one let's go click on play Oops, click again here we go start play and now it took two seconds to reach its spot okay the reason i'm doing this is to show you that it's easy to work with the templates that they have already so if you want to modify the text the the animation for all of these that is possible if i want to modify the test i just go text i'll click on it and I'll modify it here. Okay. And again, I have the content. I have the style for this size, pros and cons, animation, the loop layers, the hover, etc. A lot of things that you can do with this. This is super complete and complex. I mean, if you go through each one of these, you're going to have a fantastic slide. But if you use templates, it's going to be easy. Okay. So what if we want to bring a new element to this section? Well, let's do something. Let's go into add layer and we can add text, image, buttons, shapes, videos, audio, etc. Everything you want to add here. OK, let's bring in the text layer here. Let's go ahead and stretch it just to view it. And when you add this layer, I'm going to add it right here. There's a new layer added to the timeline. Let me go ahead and rename this and I'll say test for video just to locate it. And it added a 300 millisecond animation, which is just a simple fade in. So let me click play simple fade in. We're going to change this. OK, so again, we have selected the text layer. We're going to Double click on this. I'm going to change it to test for video. Okay, let me go ahead and make it smaller. There we go. Bring it in there. Let's go into the animation settings here and the in animation. Let's go into the letters fly in from the bottom. Here we go. We're going to make it look like it came from the beer after the foam, right? And animation out. Let's see something. No, I don't like those. The letter transitions. OK, let's select that one. OK, we can change the duration, the start, the ending. So if you don't want to start from zero, if you want to start it from 100 milliseconds, that is possible. See how it moved a bit. I'm going to do a little bit more crazy after half half a second. OK, just so you can actually view that. See how it jumped half a second. So that's how easy it is. Like I said, it's like editing kind of like a video in that sense. There's the advanced settings, the layer filters and the layer backdrop filters. And then we have the style settings to change the font, the colors, the backgrounds, spacings, the borders. Basically, you can edit everything, the hover, loop layers, visibility, etc. If you don't want it to be visible on phone, tablet, etc., just turn these off or on. Custom CSS, if you just want to go completely crazy and do something customizable, it is possible also. But just like that, I mean, I've added a new element, moved it along. It should start in half a second with the layer that I've just set and boom, we have it there. If we don't like it, let's go ahead and type delete and it's gone. All right. But just like that, I mean, we can edit all of these elements super easily. Now that's for one of the slides. Let me show you the second slide. Remember, there's several slides to this one. This is the next slide. So let me click play here and boom, we have another slide. If we want to preview this slide in a clean format, we'll just click on preview. Here we go. We have the video here on the left. We have this beer floating on the top. I'm going to scroll. I'm scrolling to here and it jumps to the next one. And I can see how it works because I want to know how it flows so I can go ahead and continue and edit something that I need. So if I don't like some of the animations, it is possible to just edit it. OK, now, once you like how it flows and how you, you left it just like you like it. OK, we're going to go ahead and save this. OK. We're going to go into the gear icon In the gear icon. There's a short code. OK, that short code is going to be available for us to embed it on our website. So let's just say that we like it. OK, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the back end of my WordPress site. Let's go into a page. OK, let me add a new page. And I'm going to call this test because I am going to delete it. I'm going to use the default editor. So yes, it works with Gutenberg also. And yes, it works with Divi, with Elementor, etc. And I'm going to add code. So it's short code. I'm going to add it here. 
I am going to preview this. Go check it out. Remember, I used this on Gutenberg, and here it is. Now, this header is obviously you can remove it. This is from my main site, but I've added it right here. Basically, it's we can remove that. But I added this on Gutenberg. If I wanted to do this on Divi again, I'll use Divi Builder. Use Divi. Okay, now it's opening up Divi. I am going to use uh, a clean page here. Here it is. I'm going to delete this. I am going to add an element. I'm going to add a new one. Full width. Full width code. I'm going to add it here. Say OK. I'm going to get rid of this one that I'm not using. And boom, we have it here on Divi now. See how easy that was by adding that short code. So like I said, it works alongside with any type of builder. So I'm going to publish this. Here we go. Let's go ahead and preview this. And here's our site. I would have the template now built into this particular page that I've just built. So basically, it's that easy to use Slider Revolution. Now, like I said, you're going to go through all the process of Slider Revolution of playing along with it add the template that you like that basically fits your needs and start working with it. So just like I did with this one, and I can go ahead and edit that, this one, you start working along with what you have. And basically, when you work with this, you're going to learn how it works. You can preview this one to see how it looks. So basically, you're going to view how it flows and just start working along with it and edit what you need. So it's that easy. I know there's a lot to cover with Slider Revolution, but trust me, it happens to me. When I want to do something new, I go ahead and jump and watch a tutorial because Slider Revolution is just so powerful and so extensive that you have to watch certain tutorials to do certain things. And basically, once you learn, it's going to be a breeze. But like I said, my recommendation, jump into the link provided in the description, jump into templates and see them in action for yourself. You're going to see that basically it's the best slider available for WordPress. Don't take my word for it. Check them out for yourself and see that basically it's the best slider available. Let me know what you think about Slider Revolution, and that's a wrap.